In this video, we are going to discuss the marking scheme issued by CBSC. So now if you look at the science exam, there are five sections in the paper. Let's look at some sample questions of maths as well to understand the marking scheme better. Hello everyone, with board exams just right around the corner, I'm sure you are all geared up to give your best shot. After all, you've worked hard for an entire year for this, right? So now is the perfect time to give as many mock tests as possible and see how well are you able to perform. Now, the first thing that comes to mind is the mind, that is the importance of marking scheme. So to help you out, in this video, we are going to discuss the marking scheme issued by CBSE for class 10 science and mathematics papers so that you are able to understand how to write your answers as per the given marking scheme. So without any further delay, let's get started. So now if you look at the science exam, there are five sections in the paper. As you can see on your screen, you have section A comprising MCQs and assertion reason based question carrying one mark each, followed by short answers of two marker and three marker. And you have long answers of five marks followed by the case study based section comprising questions of four marks. But ye four marks bhi sub parts ke saath aayenge, right? So to understand these sections, let's look at the sample questions that have been issued by CBSC in the sample paper. As you can see on your screen, an MCQ question is always answered with the option followed by the complete answer. For a short answer question, you should remember that the answer should be written in points. Please do not elaborate in lengthy paragraphs. The answer range should be 30 to 50 words for 2 marks and 50 to 80 words for 3 marks. Long answer may make sure that you write your answer in points because question parts may ho sakta hai. And the word limit, the answer range is 80 to 120 words. So what are the key things to remember while writing a science paper? First and foremost, write your answers as per the marking scheme issued by CBSC. Secondly, MCQ questions answer karte time, write the option number followed by the complete answer. Point number three, do not elaborate in paragraphs, point wise answer likhne. Point number four, write appropriate units wherever required. And lastly, diagrams neatly draw karne hai with proper labeling. So with that, we move to the next subject, which is mathematics. Let's look at the paper pattern for mathematics now. Now, if I look at the maths paper, again, how many sections? Five sections. As you can see on your screen, section A carries 20 questions. You will have MCQs along with assertion reason questions. Just like science, one mark for each question. Followed by questions of two marks, three marks and long answer questions of five marks. Last section, yaha bhi common hai, case study based question carrying four marks. But remember, it will have sub parts as well. So let's look at some sample questions of maths as well to understand the marking scheme better. As you can see on your screen, MCQ questions ke sample me clearly defined here that the option is written followed by the complete answer. So make sure you do that to get the perfect one mark here. For a two mark question, just writing the answer will not give you complete score. You have to give individual steps to score either complete two mark or three mark. Most important for a long answer question, each individual step is going to carry marks. So do not forget to write the individual equations as well as show proper calculation. So what are the key things to remember while writing a maths paper? First thing first, always write the answers as per the marking scheme issued by CBSC. Stepwise marking is the crucial thing here. Point number two, MCQ answer karte time, option must be followed by the complete answer. Point number three, wherever you have proof based or theorem based question, always write the given part, what to prove, followed by a figure wherever required and the construction. 
and lastly do not forget to write appropriate units make sure you keep these pointers in mind to get that perfect score in your board exam i hope you found this useful for both science and mathematics do keep watching this space for more such informative videos and follow akash youtube thank you so much for watching